today's session we are going to talk about geophysical phenomena so there are various uh, physical phenomena geophysical phenomena that are in use and we'll discuss uh, one by one so the first one the most important one would be the atlantic meridional overturning circulation this has been in use for some time now now this is regarding the oceanography topic so here as you can see on this image like uh, imagine these blue lines are the transportation of cold water and the orange lines are the transportation of uh, warm water so this is the warm water and this is the cold water so in the entire oceans together when we consider the ocean currents this all of the ocean currents connected together there is a connection between there is like in you know, a transportation of heat and energy between uh, different latitudes over the through the oceans so it means that the uh, the heat energy which is more received in the tropical region is distributed towards the polar regions and from these polar regions the cold water is carried back to the tropical regions so that this water again heats up so what it does is it is transporting heat from the equatorial or the tropical regions towards the polar regions and then it is mixing up the water now this movement is very essential for the climate very essential for the nutrients uh, supply i mean nutrient supply for these phytoplankton as well so it has huge impact on the world climate or the global climate now this uh, this this ocean conveyor belt a part of this ocean conveyor belt right is called as atlantic meridional overturning circulation overturning means what turning right so imagine this as when the warm water is transported towards the polar regions these warm water it sinks right as it is going towards the polar regions the temperature is low and because of the salinity as well this water sinks now this sinking cold water will be transported back to the tropical region through the undercurrent so basically the warm water movement is a uh, surface movement and the cold ocean water the blue color is deep movement deep surface movement it is taking place in the depth of the oceans okay so this is the overall uh, the ocean conveyor belt and regarding this the atlantic meridional overturning circulation this was in use especially the northern part was in use because it was found that this Atlantic meridional overturning circulation is because of the greenhouse gas emissions and because of the global warming. So when this uh, uh, the global globe warms, this heat and heat from the atmosphere will be absorbed by the oceans. Thereby, in turn, whatever the temperature changes are over the atmosphere will be reflected back in the over the oceans as well. now because of these uh, like an impacts of the global warming this atlantic meridional overturning circulation is weakening and that's the reason why this was in news so we have to expect like in you know, a questions related with this uh, surrounding topics as well now this is the entire uh, ocean conveyor belt now we will take a look at where this atlantic ocean uh, atlantic like you know meridional overturning circulation is taking place so here like you can see here the red lines are transporting the warm water warm ocean water towards the polar region towards the polar regions then as they reach there it is sinking so these marked areas are where the sinking is predominantly taking place okay so this is distributing heat and energy then the western europe's climate is less harsh even in winter because of the amoc gulf stream and north atlantic drift what this means is that if you look at this region here the western europe when we are compared with the uh, regions at the same latitude right you consider uk here and the countries lying in the same latitude so these places will be more cold but at the same time uk's winter is not very harsh the major reason is that this warm ocean water is being transported towards the uh, the western europe regions or uk it is taking place through two uh ocean currents namely gulf stream then north atlantic drift both of these are important so there is a high chance that uh, from ocean current from this atlantic region there will be question based on the ocean currents so here this is where the gulf stream is located and here we have the uh the north atlantic drift okay so benefit of this uh, amoc is that it transports the heat and energy 
when it maintains the climate in the Europe and as well as in the uh, eastern part of the North America as well, then it is also acting as carbon sink. This absorbs carbon dioxide. Now we all know that the forest absorbs the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, but the largest largest body which absorbs the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere is indeed the oceans. It's not the forest. The largest amount of carbon dioxide is absorbed by oceans than the forest. Okay. Similarly, so the, because of this absorption of uh, carbon dioxide, the pH value of the oceans are also increasing. Oh, this is called as ocean. Uh, the pH value is changing actually and it is becoming more acidic. Okay. Then remember this, the MOC is, is in use because of the greenhouse gases are increasing and the MOC is weakening. So that the rainfall uh, in these regions can be affected, the temperature in these regions can increase and different climatic effects will take place. Now related with this, let's take a look at the ocean currents in the region as well. So these ocean currents you have to remember. The first one it starts from the North Equatorial Current, right? On top of the equator we have the North Equatorial Current generally traveling from East to West transporting the warm ocean water then in the Gulf of Mexico regions here and here we have the Gulf Stream the next important one right the Gulf Stream so Gulf Stream transports the warm water from this eastern coast or from the Gulf of Mexico towards the central Atlantic and this movement is fast movement of water and that is what is denoted by the word stream now beyond this we have the North Atlantic Drift Okay, so North Atlantic Drift is transporting the warm water under the influence of westerly wind. So this uh, suffix word drift, okay, this means that this uh, current is mainly influenced by the wind. So the wind in this region is westerly wind. So under the influence of westerly winds, the North Atlantic Drift is transporting the uh, warm water towards the Western Europe. Now the another current you have to remember here is the Canary Current. So here we have Sahara Desert and near the Sahara Desert on the western margin we have the Canary Current. So this Canary Current given in blue color, this is cold ocean current. Other currents like Equatorial, North Equatorial Current, Gulf Stream, North Atlantic, they are warm currents. While the Canary Current is cold current. You, you can remember this in this way. Any current, any current, like suppose if this is equator and any current that moves away from the equator would be warm current and any current uh, where the direction of the flow is that it is towards the equator region, it would be cold current. So if you remember this, you will be able to guess whether a current is warm current or cold current. Now regarding these three currents, North Equatorial Current, Gulf Stream and the Canary Current, this is actually making a circular movement. So this is a circulation and at the center of the circulation is where we have Sargasso Sea. Now Sargasso Sea is a sea without any shore. It is not bordering the eastern uh, North America nor the western Africa. Rather it does not have any shore. There is only sea without any shore. Now this region is famous for the weed called as Sargassum which obstructs the navigation and this also uh, traps the ocean pollutants as well, the plastic waste and the garbage, right? There is a garbage patch at this region as well. And the next important current in the North Atlantic Ocean is this Labrador current, which is very cold current. So this region here, you can see at this end of this region is called as Newfoundland. Newfoundland. This is the place where, this is a place where the Titanic sank because the Labrador current is meeting with the North Atlantic drift, creating a lot of fog. Thereby the Titanic, in this fog where the visibility was reduced, the Titanic uh, uh, hit an uh, iceberg and collided, right, was destroyed. So anyway, remember this, this Labrador sea combines or like in a meet with the North Atlantic drift here, right. So there is the old cold ocean water and the warm ocean water will come in contact creating the fog condition, reduce of the visibility. But this phenomenon is very good for marine fish, fish resources. This region is having high marine fish resource because nutrient supply will be rejuvenated in this area because of the mating of cold ocean current and warm ocean current. In fact, the most of the major fishing grounds, they are in those places where the warm current meets the cold ocean current. 
so we have seen what is atlantic meridional overturning circulation we have seen what are the ocean currents we have seen the ocean conveyor belt as well 